Now, seam blends seem to have given people a lot of problems. But if we understand path mappings and planar mappings, they're really quite straightforward. I'm going to break the seam blend tutorial down into parts. Uh, the first is just going to be a little bit of classroom theory. Once you understand this, hopefully everything else should be pretty easy. So what is a seam blend texture? Well, a seam blend texture is made up of three textures. The alpha texture, which is this black and white texture here, this defines how the two textures combine. And then there's the two normal textures. In this case, I've put brick and a fair way texture here. Now, everywhere the black is on the alpha texture, that will become the one texture, which in this case will be brick. And everywhere that's white will become the other. And we'll end up with a texture that looks like this at the end. Now, if there's any gray areas on the alpha, that will be semi-transparent and be a blend of the two. So if it's very dark gray, it will be more brick than grass. If it's very light gray, it will be more grass than brick. So basically the gray on an alpha, this is pretty much black and white, but there is a little bit of gray where they join. Uh, and this will just soften up the edges of the texture. So that's our seam blend texture. It's a combination of an alpha texture and two normal textures. So now I'm going to show how the textures are combined. Now, what we're going to do is create faces between the two textures we want to blend and apply a seam blend texture. So I've got the alpha texture here marked out along the edge. And this is going to be path mapped so that it follows the edge and curves round and follows the line of the textures. Now, if we path mapped but the brick and the grass as well, I'll turn this on, you'll see it isn't going to blend correctly because we don't actually want the bricks following the path or the grass following the path, just the line of how they join. What we actually want for the brick and the grass is them to stay mapped the same as the textures either side, which is going to be a planar mapping. So if this is brick is default planar, we're going to want this brick in the seam to be a default planar. And if, say, this fairway, we've lined it up to fairway 2, the stripes, so we've called it planar fairway 2, then the grass down the seam also needs to be set to planar fairway 2. Now, because we can only have one mapping, either a path or a planar, on a face, we're a bit stuck because we need to add the planar mappings as well. So to do this, we use a new mapping called a multiple. And this will just allow us to add both the path map and the planar maps uh, to the seam blend. And that's basically all there is to it. Um, we'll look at making our seam blend texture in the next video, and then we'll be applying it in the last video.